Okay, so let's say we have int a, and I'm gonna assign int a to the value 555, and then we have uh, int, this is a pointer to an integer, and then we're gonna call this p, and we're gonna assign this the address of a. Okay, so what are we doing here? Uh, basically what we're doing is we are defining a new variable a, and this a is of type int. Then what we're doing is we are creating a new pointer and we're assigning uh, the address of a to be the value which is gonna be stored inside of this pointer. And don't forget, this is a pointer to an integer. Now what we can do is we, we can actually print out uh, the value that's stored in a by accessing p. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we can say c out, and then we actually have to use this operator called the dereference operator. It's a little confusing because uh, we use the same um, character here to define a pointer to an integer, but we also dereference here with the C out. And uh, just to go over what we're doing again, so what we're doing is we're creating a new integer and we're calling it uh, A, and we're assigning it the value 555. Then what we're doing is we're creating a pointer to an integer and we're assigning to this pointer uh, pointer the, the address of A, right? And here what we're doing is we're actually going to that address and we're getting the value that is stored at that address. So we're going to A, we're going to the address of A and we're saying, okay, what is the value at this address? And we're actually printing it out on this line. So let's actually compile this and see how this works. Okay, so as you can see, we got the value 555 back, and that's good, that's exactly what I expected. But, you know what you can actually do? What we can also do here is we can create a pointer that points to a pointer. So we can say int, and then we give it uh, these two asterisks symbols, and basically what these tell us is, the first one tells us that this is a pointer to a pointer, of type int. So again, to read this to you again, the way I read this is, this is a pointer to a pointer of type int. And we're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna say this is uh, p and then another p. And what we can do here is we can store the address of p. So don't forget, pointer, the value that's stored in pointer is an address, but this pointer has its own address as well. So what we can do is we can, reference p and store its address instead of this variable. Then what we can do is we can actually dereference this variable, but here's the problem. If we dereference this variable, what we're gonna get is we're gonna get the value which is inside of this variable, which is p. And the value stored in this, uh, the variable p is the address of a, right? And because of that, uh, we're not gonna get the value of a, but we're going to get the address of a. And let me just show you how that works. So as you can see, we get some gibberish. This is the address of a in memory, supposedly. Now, if we actually dereference this again, save this and write, and then we compile this, and then we can actually run it again, we see that we're getting back the value, which is inside of A. And we can just keep doing this like infinitely. Uh, the way that uh, these data types work in C++ is essentially you can just uh, keep making values. So we can just keep making uh, pointers that point to other pointers. So for example, we can say uh, this pointer, uh, we're gonna make another one that points to a pointer to a pointer of type int. And uh, I'm just gonna call it this and I'm gonna assign it to the address of the previous pointer. And if we try to print this out, if we try to print this out, we are gonna get, um, basically we have to dereference de this three times to get the value that's stored in A. So if we write quit and then if we compile this and then we run this again, we get 555 back again. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later.